Hello, beloved audience. We meet again on the channel about health and education, who reviews all about the world of massaging, starting from the history of massaging, opinions of experts, to interesting info about the world of massaging, just for you. Your favorite channel, Lovely Massage. Thank you for the support and love that you have provided so far to the Lovely Massage channel. And don't forget to press the subscribe button to this channel, and press the like button, if you like the video. And now let's discuss about the benefits of massaging. What are trigger points? Trigger points, a type of muscle stiffness, are the result of tiny contraction knots that develop in muscle and tissue when an area of the body is injured or overworked. Trigger points are something traditional doctors ignore, but they could be the one thing that has been overlooked in your case for years, if not decades. A hallmark of trigger points is something called referred pain. This means that trigger points typically send their pain to some other place in the body, which is why conventional treatments for pain so often fail. Many healthcare practitioners wrongly assume that the problem is located where the pain is and therefore fail to assess the body correctly to find the cause of your pain. I'm going to give you some valuable information about trigger points that I hope will encourage you to consider the possibility that trigger points may be the missing link in your quest for relief. What triggers a trigger point? Trigger points can occur as a result of muscle trauma from car accidents, falls, sports, and work-related injuries, etc. Muscle strain from repetitive movements at work or play, postural strain from standing or sitting improperly for long periods at the computer, emotional stress, anxiety, allergies, nutritional deficiencies, inflammation, and toxins in the environment. A single event can initiate a trigger point and you can suffer the effects for the rest of your life if that trigger point is not addressed properly. Why trigger points cause trouble Your body's instinctive reaction to a harmful event is to protect itself. It does that by altering the way you move, sit, or stand, which puts abnormal stress on your muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints. This produces strength and flexibility imbalances in your muscles, as well as postural dysfunctions throughout your body. If that were not bad enough, your blood flow can become restricted and when that happens both your peripheral and central nervous systems will start to send out those referred pain signals, making assessment and treatment even trickier. That's why some experts believe that trigger points are the beginning stage of fibromyalgia, can things get even worse? Why you may be suffering to better illustrate the process, here's an example of how one trigger point in one muscle can cause back pain, sciatica, or a herniated disc. The most common place for a trigger point is in the muscle of the lower back called the quadratus lumborum QL, which is located just above your hips. Regardless of what kind of event sparks the trigger point, your QL will gradually become dysfunctional, that is, the QL will tighten and shorten. And as you limit its use, it will weaken. As the QL becomes increasingly dysfunctional, it will alter the position of the pelvis. As the pelvis becomes dysfunctional, it will force the spine into an abnormal curvature that will put abnormal pressure on the disc. Over time, the disc will begin to bulge. This situation will get progressively worse, affecting your overall quality of life. Depression often follows. All of this from a single event that occurred in one moment in time. Do you have trigger points? Everyone has trigger points, the question is degree. If you have lingering pain, tightness, or restriction of certain movements, it is a good bet that you are experiencing the effects of a trigger point. Trigger points may produce symptoms as diverse as dizziness, aches, sinusitis, nausea, heartburn, false heart pain, heart arrhythmia, genital pain, and numbness in the hands and feet. Trigger points can bring on headaches, neck and jaw pain, low back pain, sciatica, tennis elbow, and carpal tunnel syndrome, you name it. They are the source of joint pain in the shoulder, wrist, hip knee, an ankle that is often mistaken for arthritis, tendonitis, bursitis, or ligament injury. If you think this is overkill, I suggest you read the book Why We Hurt. 
a complete physical and spiritual guide to healing your chronic pain, by Dr. Greg Furst, in which he explains precisely why so many different conditions are rooted in trigger points. Here are a few more symptoms you should know about, if you have restless leg syndrome, you have TPs, if your teeth hurt, you have TPs, if your workouts have plateaued, you have TPs. If you have painful menses or irritable bowel syndrome, you have TPs. Simply rubbing the surface of the skin with a massage lotion, a vibrating massager, or using heat, will not change the tissue of a single trigger point. What it needs is sufficient deep sustained pressure to the knotted up area. As you work the trigger point, your body will undergo soft tissue release, allowing for increased blood flow a reduction in muscle spasm and the breakup of scar tissue. It will also help remove any buildup of toxic metabolic waste. Your body will also undergo a neurological release, reducing the pain signals to the brain and resetting your neuromuscular system to restore its proper function. In other words, everything will again work the way it should. How long does it take to get relief? The length of time it takes to release a trigger point depends on several factors, one of which is how long you have had your trigger point. Other factors include the number of trigger points you have, how effective your current treatment is, and how consistently you can administer or receive treatment. Even if you are lucky enough to find a clinician who can properly assess your condition, let alone treat trigger points, it can be time-consuming and costly to pay someone to completely release all the primary, latent, and myofascial trigger points you may have in your body. You can try going to a massage therapist, but trigger points are very fickle. They need to be addressed daily using a technique that will apply the pinpoint pressure that is needed. Most likely it will be impractical to see a massage therapist frequently enough to get a trigger point or release. An approach that makes sense the basic idea is simple. First of all, a trigger point is only about the size of a mustard seed, which is one of the tiniest of all seeds. The idea is to put sustained pressure on the area for a set period of time on a regular basis. There are a number of techniques out there that you can employ to do this. The bottom line is that you need to take the initiative. There is no substitute for learning to control your own musculoskeletal pain, says Dr. Simons. Treating myofascial trigger points yourself addresses the source of that kind of common pain and is not just a way of temporarily relieving it. In other words, you can fix your own trigger points better than anyone else, once and for all. Dr. Simons has it exactly right, you must educate yourself about your condition and then apply what you've learned. This runs counter to today's conventional wisdom, which says that whenever we have a health issue, we should find someone to take care of the problem for us. Managing your own care from time to time, of course, you may find you need help from medical professionals. But even so, the more you know, the better care you're going to receive. This is naturally going to require some time and effort on your part, but the payoff will be faster with far better results. How does trigger point therapy work? Simply rubbing the surface of the skin with a massage lotion, a vibrating massager, or using heat, will not change the tissue of a single trigger point. What it needs is sufficient deep sustained pressure to the knotted up area. As you work the trigger point, your body will undergo soft tissue release, allowing for increased blood flow, a reduction in muscle spasm, and the breakup of scar tissue. It will also help remove any buildup of toxic metabolic waste. Your body will also undergo a neurological release. How long does it take to get relief? The length of time it takes to release a trigger point depends on several factors, one of which is how long you have had your trigger point. Other factors include the number of trigger points you have, how effective your current treatment is, and how consistently you can administer or receive treatment. Even if you are lucky enough to find a clinician who can properly assess your condition, let alone treat trigger points, it can be time-consuming and costly to pay someone to completely release all the primary, latent, and myofascial trigger points you may have in your body. You can try going to a massage therapist, but trigger points are very fickle. 
They need to be addressed daily using a technique that will apply the pinpoint pressure that is needed. Most likely it will be impractical to see a massage therapist frequently enough to get a trigger point or release. Advice. Always check with your doctor first to make sure the problem isn't more serious. Many doctors are now seeing the value of massage and may give you a prescription for it so your insurance or flex dollars can be applied to your treatment. Self-massage is a method of traditional medicine by pressing certain points on the body with several purposes, such as reduces stiffness or cramps from muscles relieve pain, especially in joints relieve stress or stress and provide a relaxing effect restoring body fitness. For the health itself, massage has enormous benefits. Some of the benefits of massage include 1. Smooth blood flow for those of us who are experiencing health problems, such as being easily tired, often feeling numb in the hand, or easily dizzy, massage can be the best solution. In general, these problems are caused by not smooth blood flow caused by several factors such as fat clots or hemoglobin, health that is not in top condition, stress but of course there are rules so that massage can provide the best benefits. Some of these rules include, massage should not be done too hard so as not to cause nerve rupture. It should not be done if we have problems with blood vessel inflammation or varicose veins it should be done only by people who are truly competent to relieve tension in the nerves and tense muscles. Some studies show that 5 minutes of massage therapy is equivalent to 2 hours of nap in relieving nerve and muscle tension. This tension in the muscles and nerves is often referred to as muscle veins and cramps. The causes themselves vary, but some of them are. There are signs of heart disease, fat clumping with touch at the right point and accompanied by the right pressure, the tense muscles and nerves can become slack and more relaxed. 3. Improve immune function A tired body and a tired mind will create a down body condition. So it's not surprising that many people fall ill after working too hard. Therefore, massage is the right solution to restore body vitality. With a fit body, we will get benefits such as more relaxed and relaxed mind increase endurance immunity. Therefore, it is not surprising to say that people who do reflexology will be healthier and fitter. 4. Improve body posture Many people who do not realize that the routine of sitting too long, both in the office and while driving, can cause a posture that is not ideal. With massage or massage, the muscles and bones can be pressed to return to their intended position. Thus, massage will help someone to avoid premature contracting in adolescents and adults keep the appearance in order to stay excellent in addition. Good posture will cause the flow of breath more smoothly and efficiently so that the body becomes healthier, stronger. 5. Reducing pain massage has the benefit of providing relaxation both to the nerves, muscles, and joints. This relaxation will provide comfort to the body so that it can reduce and even eliminate pain. Some of the pain that can be relieved by this therapy include stressful pain pain due to sprains and collisions and so forth. Although massage or massage has enormous benefits for the body, but massage cannot be done carelessly. Errors, such as pressing too hard or pressing the wrong point can cause some serious problems such as rupture of nerves bruised, sprained or misplaced muscles continuous pain miscarriage therefore. To get maximum results and avoid the risks above, we must be careful. Don't let us get a massage from a competent therapist. Techniques Long ago, massage has been recognized as one of the most comprehensive body care and beauty treatments. Massage just relax to keep the shape beautiful skin. You just need to spend some time daily massage will immediately see the effect with the waist more compact. Reduce foot and legs fat. When the blood vessels under the skin are stimulated to function more vigorously, blood circulation easily affect the metabolism, which helps break down fat, reduce the size of the legs, prevents fat buildup. Using the force of the hands on the abdomen, fat tissue heat up, not accumulation of fat and remove excess water out of the body. Faster breakdown of fat occurs more quickly and acts as a natural fat suppressing agent helps firm skin. 
when you massage the skin is impacted constantly throughout the implementation. Once each cell, the abdominal muscles are more active than normal. The action stimulates skin regeneration, increase elasticity, strengthen the skin and prevent significant sagging caused by the aging process. Reduce stress. Science has proven that a massage is a very good therapy to stimulate the circulation of blood in the body, allowing the muscles to relax and reduce pain. In particular, when massaged, the body produces endorphin hormones that make women feel relaxed and happy. Full body massage brings joy and many benefits to you. When your muscles are stressed, injured or overworked, your body may be tired and slow and massage can help you to lessen this nuisance. Benefits of Body Massage Massage therapies have a powerful effect on muscles, tendons, skin, ligaments and psyche. You will be amazed at the physical and psychological benefits that massage gives you. Massage is like an analgesic when your muscles are stretched, joints after overtraining, or sports injuries, improper posture. Massage therapists say massage can increase blood circulation. Circulation in the body by supporting oxygen and nutrients in tissues and organs, helping to remove toxins easily and control. Control your blood pressure more effectively. The spirit is relaxed, helping the body to be healthier with long blood and stress can interfere with the digestive system so many people massage also helps your digestive system better body massage helps to remove dead skin cells improve skin tone provide moisture to the skin